Good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome to today's webinar. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, I am Omnika Borua, Assistant Professor in English of Brahmananda Keshav Chandra College and I feel privileged to welcome you all to a special lecture on harassment at workplace, prevention and redressal in the light of gender equality organized by the internal complaint cell in collaboration with internal quality assurance cell of Brahmananda Keshav Chandra College. Harassment at workplace is a global phenomenon prevalent both in developed as well as in developing countries. Cutting across religion, culture, race, caste, class and geographical boundaries, it has spread like virus in the society. Being offensive to human dignity, human rights and gender equality, it has emerged as a fundamental crisis over the world. It is a complex issue involving women, their perceptions and behavior, and the social norms of the society, which emerges from gender, discriminatory attitudes, and is a complex interplay of gender, power, and sexuality. Due to industrialization, globalization, development in various fields, the role of women in change is changing rapidly in India. Today, women in our country are showing progress in almost all the fields. So, as the role of women has shifted from household work to commercial work, offenses against women are also increased day by day. In spite of rising coincidences of sexual harassment, their reporting is almost nil as women fear loss of personal and professional reputation and livelihood owing to the social stigma. It is an important issue in society which needs to be given more attention. So, the internal complaint cell shows this subject for discussion today to enhance the awareness of our students for their future on the existence of forms of sexual harassment at the workplace, preventive measures, and legal frameworks on preventing and addressing sexual harassment. We believe that harassment at the workplace is a social challenge that needs to be addressed and we hope that today's special lecture will help our students in future when they will be at their respective workplaces. Today, all workplaces in India are mandated by law to provide a safe and secure working environment. We, in BTC College, prioritize prevention, awareness, and innovative redress mechanism since accountability can be rightly shifted from individuals to institutions. Now, before we begin, I would request all the participants to please put your audio and video on mute throughout the duration of the webinar. Vishesh kore an student der khetre bolchi, tap tomar der uddeshya kore bolchi, tomra keu audio ba video on korbe na. Ar arekta jinish jeta mone kore rakhbe, seta hocche screen share korbe na. Okay, before we move on to listen to our Honorable Speaker, Professor Vertani Shengupta, we have a brief inaugural session. So now I would request the principal of our college, Dr. Pahya Chakraborty, to deliver the inaugural address. Over to you, ma'am. Ma'am, you are on mute. Uh, I'm on mute for our Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dear, dear, dear. 
Dr. Shutuma Chatterjee, Professor in the Department of History in West Bengal State University, Director of IQSC and the Chairperson of ICC Cell in Vetsu. She is also a former Professor of the Department of History of our college. Now I request Dr. Chatterjee to say a few words. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, very good afternoon to all of you. And I am really glad today. Uh, my dear Principal Dr. Chakravarti, Professor Shen Gupto, and my esteemed faculty members. Given the great, it gives really a great pleasure as an ex faculty member to return and address my colleagues, some of whom I have known for many years and others who might be able to do. Like Bhumbika, I I am sure you did not see me before. And I feel proud that the challenge and all this has been taken up the, and the initiative to organize the webinar on women's issues through the ICC cell, having been a part of this family for Many years, I am well aware of the high esteem that is offered to all staff members and faculties, you know, in this college, both female and male alike, and I am certain that the current ICC cell will take the spirit of collective well-being and revised reversal to greater heights. And I know they will do it. I firmly believe that. Uh, now, keeping this in mind, it is really home to me with you today. I am being allotted. Moana has finally granted me five minutes, so I won't speak much. But before you start with the uh, uh, lecture of Professor Shinbukto, I would like to share a few things with you. And the issues of discrimination, as Omrika rightly pointed out, and various crimes against women is a major concern in our society today. The women have traveled a long path, and I believe we have to carry on for some more time. After many years of struggle, women have to the day they are made a little space of their own, but that too is, I feel, very limited. Every institution now has an ICC cell, which is known as internal complaint committee cell, to deal with the nuances of women, and there is also an effort for gender sensitization and devising ways and means to empower women. I think all of you know about it. Today I just want to resist myself, and I would like to quote from Virginia Wills, from one of her uh, uh, writings, A Room of One's Own. So I begin with the quote, What one 
was, you know, I thought, and why was not some previous student of Muhammad and Washington supplying some material on a woman? How many children does she have? How, what are her, where is her house? Where does she live? Does she have a room to herself? Did she, did, do she, does she do the cooking on her own? Would she be likely, does she have a servant? All these are facts which is somewhere presumably in the parish registers and account books. The life of an average Elizabethan woman must be scattered about somewhere and could one connect it and make a book of it. It would be my pleasure if this and it would be ambitious beyond my day, I thought looking about the shelves for books that were not there to suggest to the students of those famous colleges that they should be right. You know, and today I feel that the call of Virginia will few years back has been answered, inspired directly or indirectly by the political uh, agenda of the women's empowerment movement. The stories not only documented the lives of average women, in various historical periods, but they have charted as well the changes in economic and educational and political positions of women of various classes in city and country and in nation states. Bookshelves are now being filled with biographies of forgotten women, chronicles of feminist movements, and the collected letters of female authors. Journals have appeared also, and we know that there are. Lots of seminars going on all over the nation, country, and beyond that, all over the world. And there are presentations of scholarly papers on the history of women. And all of this adds up to what is justified in turn as a new knowledge, quote and unquote, about women. You know, this is very important for us to realize that today, in this age, with the ICC cell and with all the repressive re advances, Today we really have a space, we have made a space of our own and I know BKC College will do its best to carry forward and it will really take to new heights and there will be no advances as I told you earlier. Before concluding, I would like to share another thing. You know, I grew up in the Bengal Bihar border area where my friends were the Adivasi women like Shukulmani, Shonamani and you know, they were mostly mind workers. And we went to the mine, and even I remember one Shonamani came back and told me, Jay, the Bachchan was in the delivery of Jay and in the mines. And you know, immediately she went back to work within two hours. So you know, whenever I remember about these women, today I take this opportunity to so show my highest gratitude and my deep respect to Shukulmani and Shonamani, whom I really, really respect them. And they were real workers, and their spirit and their courage really makes me very, very, I'm very fortunate that I can move forward with the courage to be free. So I was brought up with these women from my childhood, and I wanted to remember this, and I wanted to share it with all of you in my college today, that they are really the epitome of courage. And I pay my deep respect to them. And before concluding, how can I avoid the war? And I would once again mention you about Street World Talk Show. And one of the finest, which is one of the finest short stories about women who finds her freedom and leads the mundane for emancipation. These stories are our inspiration and it helps us to move forward in life. There will be rules, there will be regulations, and we have to abide by that. We have to go by the rules of the Shaka Committee, and we have to carry on with ICC cell. But we have to keep in mind, and I really know that my BKC colleague will be what will be shining very high as it is doing now. And strongly I have had a fair to equality, and wish you all the best. Thank you once again, all of you. Uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am, your thought for your thought-provoking uh, address, and I hope that uh, your words uh, have inspired all of us and will try to move like this more with such kind of uh, organizing webinars and some other activities which are important for ourselves. Thank you, ma'am.
Now, I would request the IQC coordinator of our college, Dr. Manush Kumar Roy, to say a few words. Manush, now over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. So, there is a basic difference, a huge difference between right and privilege. Now, for example, I am privileged uh, to be invited in this lecture series, but whatever I will talk about, that is my right. Right of speech, freedom of speech. So, uh, uh, just uh, when uh, Madhavi asked me to uh, discuss some words on this occasion, uh, meaning a more, I just searched uh, in Wikipedia and uh, starting by that, that there is sometimes it came in Wikipedia that it is a law in the day in 2003. So, uh, <coughs> whatever the law was, I am not going to read this, but this is the right of everyone. So, we don't have to consolidate and scatter uh, more laws and clauses into our ICCs. Rather, we just we have a self explanatory and self sufficient tool that is what Indian constitution. And if it doesn't have a kind of organ critical in 21, Everyone decides equality to a So we don't have to think about lots of pros and cons, how to rectify it, how to determine it, and how to uh, give the uh, right to every strata of social needs, especially for the woman. Uh, uh, initially, it was not uh, discussed or implemented on the uh, our forces and international but finally it was given. So, constitution itself was self-sufficient. Still, we have to implement or uh, enhance our legal system so that everyone get the right. Why is it? Because we think very much. We don't think very much, but we feel very little. So it is always we think that we are given the privilege to every woman that they can do, uh, uh, they can do higher education, uh, they have their uh, right of uh, their paternal properties and so on. So this is not a privilege, first of all. And this is the right, and it is very obvious. So this obviousness should always be taken care of. So this is just not we don't have to be very much wonder. So being without the wonder, we have to take this very measure. Okay. So why uh, don't I don't understand that whenever we have such problem and uh, any sexual harassment, not only sexual harassment or any uh, woman. But also for any man also, because uh, being a man, we know that in our early childhood and uh, young age, we also have suffered such uh, exploitation sometimes. Not in the middle of the woman cases, but not uh, in the very little. So, this is the situation that we have to think about, not we have to think about, but we have to feel. In an open possibility. That whenever any sexual happens, we will always think about okay, what is the meaning, the allegation, the truth, the cause, or whatever it is. But if we, or our point of view, we want to view or analyze or evaluate the whole process from a woman's perspective, the situation talking about the male, uh, so easily, it is easily, not only male, but also the uh, victims of this patriarchal system, uh, the women of this patriarchal system. So everyone has to feel the real situation of what it exactly is. But instead of uh, feeling, we are just seeing the law and the water we have to do and then we have to take care of this and the violence, all those rules and all those rules and the 
কলকাতা Ex professor in the Department of Sociology of Kalyani University West Bengal ex post director of rural awareness and self employment run by the Department of Sociology University of Kalyani from 2003 to 2013 she is also the ex member of West Bengal Commission for Women her area of specialization are social movement peasant studies governance decentralization she has innumerable publications to her credit to name a few peasants and politics in india west bengal state and people development and people's choice pashchim bangle mere shonidh goshti avlogati nari dunikar etc and many other papers in journals like indian political thoughts and movements poverty and gender analysis study for the proposed west bengal india coastal area development project of ifad rome april 2008 etc she has also participated and presented papers in various national and international seminars and symposiums She also worked in various projects as supervisor and project coordinator. Presently she is also attached to the supervision of PhD projects. Today she will be speaking on harassment at workplace prevention and redressal in the light of gender equality. আমরা প্রফেসর শেনগুপ্তের কাছে যাওয়ার আগে আগে আবার আমি আমাদের স্টুডেন্টের উদ্দেশ্যে বলে দিচ্ছি তোমরা সবাই অডিও আর ভিডিও মিউট করে রাখবে তোমাদের আমাদের এই টেকনিক্যাল সেশনের পরে যেটা আছে সেটা হচ্ছে কোয়েশ্চেন অ্যান্সার সেশন সেখানে তোমাদের যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে সেই প্রশ্ন জাস্ট কিছু কিছু কোয়েশ্চেন ইন দ্য চ্যাট বক্স চ্যাট বক্সে তোমাদের প্রশ্নগুলো লিখে দেবে আমাদের যখন কোয়েশ্চেন অ্যান্সার সেশন শুরু হবে তখন সেখান থেকে আমরা কোয়েশ্চেনগুলো পিক আপ করব ঠিক আছে থ্যাংক ইউ নাও উই মুভ অন টু ম্যাম ম্যাম নাও আই রিকোয়েস্ট ইউ টু ডেলিভার ইওর লেকচার ওভার টু ইউ ম্যাম থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ প্রথমে আমি ডিফেন্স কলেজ এর ডিরেক্টর এবং যারা ওই পরিচালকের আইজার কোচিং তারপর আমার আলোচনা যারা তারাও কিন্তু 
যতই কেন তাদের মতো কাজটা যাই বা গান্ধীজি যাই বলুন যে আপনারা অনুসরণ করবেন বিশেষ করে মহিলা নেতৃত্ব সরকারি ডাক্তারি করার জন্য তারা চেষ্টা করলেন আইন করার জন্য তারা চেষ্টা করলেন কিন্তু সেখানেও দেখা গেল যে তারা সুযোগ পাচ্ছে অনেক কষ্ট করে অনেক যুদ্ধ করে আপনাদের এবং তার আগে অবলাবসে মাত্রা মেডিকেল কলেজে অ্যাডমিশন নিয়েছিলেন কিন্তু শেষ করেনি কিন্তু এই মাত্রা মেডিকেল কলেজে হোক মেডিকেল কলেজে হোক তারা কেউ কিন্তু মহিলাদের বুঝিয়ে দিল না এবং কাদমী গাঙ্গুলিকে বিকৃত দেয়াই হল না প্রবেশের যে বাধা সেই বাধাগুলো আস্তে 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 আজকে আমরা যে চালিয়ে সে পৌঁছেছি তার ইতিহাসটা কিন্তু Uh, he, the first law minister of our country, he had to 
to Islam, to Islam, and ultimately he changed his religion also. So that's a separate story. But Ambedkar, uh, uh, Ambedkar, uh, they failed to pass this simple, simple specific laws uh, in our independent uh, in India. So, but after 1954, since 1954, when Nehru got a massive victory uh, in the first general election, he uh, passed uh, this uh, part by part the uh, different sections of the Hindu Marriage Act. Was uh, uh, the women we are now getting certain legal rights. Right to property, one of the damage, imports, compensation, so on and so forth. And uh, there are many other specific laws also, um, uh, anti dowry act, one of the that is in 1961. But these are all laws. And after two decades, the government of India, uh, realizing that something wrong is going on, they appointed a committee, and that committee was headed by Sri And under her leadership, towards security, the report towards security was published in 1974. Uh, they uh, made a very detailed survey at that time, and uh, uh, the conclusion is that. No, the millions and millions of people, they actually, they are not getting the, they are not getting any rights in, any rights, neither in social, nor in uh, political sphere, nor, and, and no question of the economic independence. So, millions of people, they remain subjugated, they remain under treatment, Respect to the case of uh, the independence and the passage of different right, uh, rights and the different legislations for gender parity. And uh, uh, again, uh, I will just mention a uh, 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 part of that uh, report uh, uh, relating to uh, work, work conditions relating to the, this economic independence. Here, the change is that after this two, uh, two decades, the overwhelming majority of the respondents, they accepted that, yes, not very well final, overwhelming majority accepted that, yes, the uh, women should uh, enjoy the economic rights. That, that means, not for, for the women sex, but for the family, for the betterment of family, that women may work. So, this, this is a change, this is a paradigm shift in the mindset of the male members of the society as well as the women. Not all the women are in favor of going to work, even for the event of the independence. But uh, it is a real paradigm shift. But now, 52%, the survey uh, report shows that, uh, though the need is felt, but 50, as many as 52% of uh, the respondents uh, mentioned that, that the people, there is a complete lack of favorable working conditions. Uh, so, uh, this is the situation uh, in 1974. At the same time, uh, economic independence, uh, regarding economic independence, only 65.2% uh, uh, stated that they, they did not have any independence. That is, they did not have any orders of the other. Neither from the property, neither from the family income, nor from the income, personal income. So 65% reported that they did not have any income. Uh, but at that time, this 
harassment at workplace, neither harassment nor sexual harassment, these questions did not arise. The only the amount of demands, uh, five demands the most, the 89% of the respondents they demanded that who need daycare center for the children. The working women, they, particularly the working women, they demanded this. But see, after the 57 years, we did not have much daycare center around us. So, uh, so how uh, lactating mother, how uh, uh, working mother can perform her duties uh, without this type of facilities? So in that way, uh, we have our right, we, we are uh, working in different uh, sectors, uh, but there are certain difficulties which the women, particularly the mothers, they uh, have to face. Now again, after a change in 1993, uh, even the report, and Amartoshan's uh, Amartoshan's book, uh, and Amartoshan uh, is very much with the uh, that in uh, for development, that means uh, again a big change in uh, theory of development. Uh, we, also, uh, we have seen that uh, a completely uh, uh, opposite uh, uh, opposite stand uh, has been taken by these economists, by these scientists, that women should not be considered as subordinate, as subjugated, as a silent, a silent working partner, but they should be considered as the agent of the development. How? Because they, they uh, think that the poor women, they could very successfully manage the economic activities. And you know that uh, Brahmin Bank of Bangladesh, uh, that showed the way and uh, that uh, women, these poor women, uh, with, the, with the new concept of self-help group and microfinance, uh, they uh, came they came out from their uh, shanties, they came out from their village uh, houses and they, they, uh, they actually, they started earning some money on their own. So, but the theory is that uh, development needs participation, development needs transparency, development needs participation and so in that way we need to interrupt Kochi. 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 We need to the poor, uh, not only poor people, but the poor women, they were considered as the agent of the black man. And uh, now, so uh, what a sea change in, uh, in uh, depicting the working condition. So the money is in the hand of the women. Money means not money on wider. They went to the banks, they went to uh, different cooperatives, they started different types of micro businesses. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so in that way, a new uh, type of working condition is emerging. And at the same time, to ensure this, the decentralization, transparency, participation in India, uh, under, uh, at that time, Rajiv Gandhi was. Uh, uh, Prime Minister, 74th and 75th Amendment uh, uh, was made and this, uh, by this 74th and 75th Amendment, for the first time, 33% reservation was made for the women. 
in local bodies, in local governments. Uh, but uh, uh, in, during the colonial period, Shalakit Nandu and the other women leaders, they refused to accept its legal reservation. But now the situation has changed and now the, uh, we, the women, uh, we, uh, we, the Indian women, they demanded that there should be reservation for women in uh, local bodies as well as in parliament and assembly that there was not. Uh, but this 74 and 74 and 75 amendment, it also uh, uh, it also offered a new political right, new type of political atmosphere for the poorer, for the underprivileged, for the dalit women. Because reservation was in that way, that is uh, for the police, for the SCs, for the SCs, for the uh, general women, for the SC women. So in that way, a broad section of the SC, ST and women, they started, uh, they started political activities and they tried to be the leader, political leader of the, of their neighborhood. Uh, and at the Notun Horone, uh, Asha Tarapene, Akanotun Horone, Kadan Monte Tarapene, he would have been by the way. We can have Yashu with a blood of it. Chita Abashi Patriarchy, Abashi upper cost, Tarapin to Shumbari Pathati to Tapen, they now do not touch with the Parpana. A new system of serpents putting. That was a, that is the serpents putting is, uh, in, uh, that the wife, uh, the elected temper is the wife, but the entire uh, activities of the contract is uh, guided and conducted by the wife and husband. So this type of uh, uh, treatment, this type of uh, uh, so some of them the variety is the person missing uh, properly, but at the same time, all these things is uh, this right that is seventy four and seventy fifth amendment. It also changed the political scenario as well as the social scenario and uh, the managers of the poverty, managers of the uh, women as managers of the poverty, women as uh, political leader that was accepted to some extent. Uh, uh, the Japan, uh, the father law opposed the, uh, opposed the mother law that you don't do this, you don't do this. Uh, you should sign this. That's torch paper. That woman, that's, that, uh, uh, elected, uh, lady, she, she stated that no, these two hands are not mine. These two hands, these are not mine. These are hands of my voters. So, this type of awareness, this is our heart. I mean, it is a First, I have to go to attend, uh, first, I have to attend the meeting. So, each Horomera Kayapan is Jokunashi, Kinto, Abashi, Kinto, Tata Kodayachi, Dixi, Age Social Pajitara Ashi, Arthur Price, Shark William. Amunar Kurmi, Asher Walker, and Mindelin Walker. A Mindelin Pai, 6.5 to 7 million women, they are on roads. Even Tade, Nana and Kapun, because they at night, they have to respond to the people, they have to respond to the uh, to the uh, poor. Uh, so in that way, they were in groups at night, even at midnight, they have to, they are also making midwives that are also there. So, 
So, if you need some protection, you know, can you work out to that alert in 1992 that you know, 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 uh, she was she was a shakti worker that was a social worker uh, 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 ministry of child and uh, child and uh, uh, women welfare department so she went to uh, she is very very ill paid these people are all ill paid contractual ill paid uh, they don't have any good transportation but then Bhanwari Devi, she was then with, what is this for? She tried to prevent a child marriage. That is the age of the child, that is nine months old. So, in that way, the, her attempt to prevent that child marriage, that was punished and she was banned before her husband and the case is still going on after 28 years. The culprits, they were, they were moving here and there and to, uh, the, our justice, our just, our school, they did not tell now after 28 years the battle is going on. But the social activists, the women activists, they, uh, they made it and the Supreme Court in 1997, it uh, gave the right, uh, gave the judgment, it's a famous judgment, Vishakha versus State of Rajasthan. And uh, in that judgment, uh, the, the uh, seed of the uh, Posh Act, that is the Sexual Harassment uh, Act 2013, that was uh, made in the light of uh, Ishaka guideline. But the most remarkable difference is that, that the Ishaka guideline, it is only for the organized sector, the protection uh, was given, went only for the organized sector women, but this uh, to, to Posh Act, Posh Act means the short form that is uh, Prevention of Sexual Harassment Act. So this Bosch Act, it, it uh, extended the protection to the unorganized sectors also. Now, uh, uh, so uh, let me sum up this that we have, uh, we have discussed the history of uh, the or the posts that have been taken by the women in India for their economic independence. Now, the main uh, issue of this discussion that is, I must tell uh, in detail the clauses and the provisions of the Sexual Development Act, and then, then I will uh, concentrate on assessment and criticism. Uh, First, uh, declaration. Declaration, so the uh, full form of the act is sexual harassment of women at workplace, prevention, prohibition, and repression. Uh, first is declaration of workplace. Government, uh, private, any office, court, uh, educational institutions, health, schools, any place, the most important thing is that any place visited by the women, including the transportation, that will also be considered as the workplace. If you have to go to the UTC at the circular, it is the UTC at the circular, it is the UTC at the circular, it is the UTC at I see, I see, I see a uh, sexual harassment act here. That is women for a judge, other for a daughter, she has to have it. And she can harassment to get the teacher to teacher, teacher, student, 
এবং এখানে
uh, suspension of promotion and suspension of principal and uh, the alternative uh, uh, dismissal. Third is compensation and uh, compensation should be given from the salary of the person concerned. Now the most important thing is what is the duty of the employer. The employer's duty first is to ensure a safe working uh, condition. Second, the provisions of the punishment should be displayed. Third, should, should carry on awareness and awareness program and uh, uh, treatment workshop on this. Fourth, uh, the employer should keep in mind or to monitor so that the employer should be placed in a new time. And uh, uh, the law maintains that the employer may also be punished uh, in what uh, in why? Because if the IC, IC, if the employer failed to pursue IC and the amount of the uh, 50,000, up to 50,000 may be, may be exactly number two, registration. Uh, if if uh, the employer did not to pay the compensation, the registration, or the business license may be annoyed. Uh, the identity of the victim should not be disclosed. Uh, so these are the few important uh, important provisions of the uh, of the act. The act is not a not a very complicated one. It is a reporting page. Uh, so everybody uh, can read it. And can consult it wherever the team and the act is uh, written in a very good way, not in a lot of different settings and something like that. Now, uh, yes, our uh, next uh, 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 Criticism and assessment. Criticism and assessment. So, uh, I I refer two studies. One conducted by Indian National Bar Association in 2017. Uh, six hundred, six thousand, six thousand employees were surveyed. And uh, what are the findings of this uh, study? Number one is that the overall majority, overall majority of the women respondents, they say that no, we don't want to lodge any complaint. Number one. Number two, uh, I see, I see no many of the cases. Uh, the ICs are not formed, and if if and uh, if this IC is formed, the procedures how to work, in, what are the procedures of this IC? What is the task of the IC that was not formed by the IC members? Number three, there is no uh, information. Regarding how many ICs are there, regarding the activities of the IC, that means that it is the duty of the IC to report to give an annual report to the government. But that is completely lacking. There is no such information uh, regarding these activities of the IC. In the next year, 2018, uh, another survey by uh, an organization. Uh, they conducted a survey, a survey among 655 districts and uh, they found that only 15% only in of these 655 districts only IC committee uh, has been formed only in 
50% of the district. And the most striking is that 56% of the respondents, that means this district officers and the district directors, they responded that they did not respond at all. That is no response to That is total ignorance, total negligence. That these are not our tasks. These are some real activities they are doing this. So these are not important. these are not important anything important task to be done uh, to be performed. So this is the attitude that is fifty six percent of the respondent in the year two thousand eighteen after five years of the enactment of the act that they did not respond. Uh that the demo made up of which I say now. তার একটা একটা হচ্ছে যে ফলস কেস অর্থাৎ আমি যদি আমার এমপ্লয়ারের বিরুদ্ধে যাই তাহলে শুধু যে আমার বিরুদ্ধে তারা আবার উল্টে ফলস কেস দেবে যেটা আমাকে থানা যেটা কিন্তু থানা এই ফলস কেসের ভয় পাওয়া যাচ্ছে না এটা হচ্ছে বিরাট অংশের একটা রেসপন্ডেন্ট করেছে এবং এটা তো আমরা সব ক্ষেত্রেই দেখতে পাচ্ছি একটু অভিযোগ জানাতে গেলে কত একটা ফলস কেস দুর্ভাগ্য এইরকমি <laughs> সেইভাবে <laughs> সেটা হচ্ছে যে 
प्रतिकूल अवस्था विदुषी महिला पितृतानिक समाज के प्रतिकूलता से विस्तारित छात्र लिंग मान निर्विशेष छात्र 
যে কেউ যদি কোন এরকম সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট কি আছে কেউ যদি মানে ইয়ে হয় মানে তার ভিক্টিম হয় তাতে তোমরা যেন অন্তত জানো যে এখানে এইসব কিছু কিছু জায়গায় গিয়ে আমি কমপ্লেন লজ করতে পারি এবং আমাদের কলেজের ক্ষেত্রে যে আইসিসি যে সেলটা আছে তার যে কনস্টিটিউশনের এখানে সেখানেও যে আমাদের যদি কোনো ভাবে কোনো সেক্সুয়াল ওভারটোন বা হ্যারাসমেন্টের কেস হয় সেখানে তোমরা যে আমাদের যে যারা কমিটি মেম্বার আছি এবং সেখানে তোমরা অতি অবশ্যই এসে আমাদের যেন কমপ্লেন আমাদের যে বক্স আছে সেখানে তোমরা নিজেদের কমপ্লেন অতি অবশ্যই জানাতে পারো এবং প্রিন্সিপাল ম্যাডাম আছেন ওনার গাইডেন্সে এবং আমাদের কমিটির গাইডেন্সে আমরা নিশ্চয়ই সেখানে আমরা সেটাকে রিড্রেস করার চেষ্টা করব এবং কোথায় তোমাদের গাইড করবার চেষ্টা করব এবার আমি জিজ্ঞেস করছি যদি এখনো প্রশ্ন যে চ্যাট বক্স আমি একটু প্রশ্ন দেখেছি কেউ এখনো কোনো প্রশ্ন আসেনি তাও আমি জিজ্ঞেস করছি যদি কেউ প্রশ্ন তোমরা করতে চাও ছাত্র ছাত্রীরা মানে ইউ আর অলওয়েজ ওয়েলকাম টু পুট ইয়ার কোয়েশ্চেনস ম্যাম ইজ হিয়ার প্লিজ গো ফরওয়ার্ড যদি কেউ প্রশ্ন করতে চাও কোনোভাবে যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন কারণ মনে থাকে চ্যাট বক্সে এখনো পর্যন্ত কোনো প্রশ্ন দেখছি না আমার একটা কোয়েরি ছিল প্রফেসর সেনগুপ্ত আমাদের তো আইসিসি আমাদের যে কমপ্লেন সেলে কোনো কমপ্লেন্ট এলো এবার আমরা কোথায় কোথায় এইটাকে আরো হায়ার জায়গাতে নিয়ে যেতে পারি সেই কমপ্লেনটা মানে কোনো যোগাযোগ সূত্র তৈরি করে দিতে পারি আমাদের কলেজের সংক্রমণ কেউ যদি কেউ লজ করলো সেইটার যদি কোনো একটা শর্ট স্ন্যাপ আমরা যদি পেতাম যে কোথায় কোথায় আমার সাথে তাকে ইয়েটা করে দিতে পারি যে তুমি এখানে যাও বা এখানে তুমি এটাকে রাখতে পারো উমেন সেল আছে চাইল্ড সেল আছে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ তারা থাকেন মানে কমপ্লেন করা 
তারপরে তো নিশ্চয়ই তারপরে আমরা আরো এগোতে পারবো নিশ্চয়ই একটা পজিটিভ অ্যাটিচিউড নিয়ে এগোবো হ্যাঁ যেখানে আমরা যদি একটা সিনেমার কথা মনে করি যে সবাই যদি তোমরা ছাত্ররা দেখে থাকো নর্থ কান্ট্রি এটা যদি দেখো যে ফেমাস একটা সিনেমা যেটা একটা ওই মাইন্ড ওয়ার্কার মানে এটা একটু অ্যাওয়ার্ড উইনিং মুভি হ্যাঁ সেখানে সে শি ওয়ান দ্য কেস অ্যাগেন্স দ্য কোল কোম্পানি হ্যাঁ সেখানে মাইন্ড শি ওয়াজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি অ্যারেস্ট ইট ইজ এ প্রাইজ উইনিং মুভি তোমরা পারলে দেখো এবার আমি শেষ পর্বে চলে যাই প্রফেসর সেনগুপ্ত আমি এবার আমাদের ইতিহাস বিভাগের অধ্যাপক প্রফেসর অলোক অলোক চট্টা চ্যাটার্জিকে আমি এবার ভোট অফ থ্যাঙ্কসটা জানাতে প্রকাশের একটা মাধ্যম বলতে পারেন প্রথমে আমরা যাত্রা শিখলে তিনি তিনি তার অন্য সময় থেকে অনেকখানি আমাদের জন্য ব্যয় করেছেন এবং তিনি আমাদের পাশে দাঁড়িয়েছেন এবং আমাদের এই উদ্যোগকে তিনি অনেকটা এগিয়ে নিয়ে গেছেন আমরা অবশ্যই সহযোগিতা করেছে পাতিয়া 
সময় এই কাজে তার হাত বাড়িয়ে দিয়েছেন এবং তিনি আমাদের এই কাজগুলোকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে গেছে যা যা প্রয়োজন তিনি সবসময় করে ফলে আমাদের ইন্সপিরেশন অবশ্যই তার কাছ থেকে পাওয়া এবং তিনি আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানের মধ্যে পাওয়া যায় পেছনে রয়েছেন সবসময় निराश कर অম্বিকা ভিডিও অন করো আমাদের কমিটির একটা ইয়ে হচ্ছে আসলে ঘটনাটা কি হয় না ওরা জানেও না যে শেষ হয়ে গেছে এরকমও হয় ঘটনা